comparative financial statements are prepared to compare the financial performance of a single entity over a multiple period of time or multiple entities for a specific period of time such type of comparison helps in designing index analysis and trend analysis on the screen you can see a comparative balance sheet from the period 2007 to 2009 over this 3 years time period you can see the changes in assets of the company you can see the change in fixed assets long term loans likewise you can see the changes in store and spare stock and trades and even uh, cash and bank balances from the period 2007 to 2009 similarly you can see the changes in equity from 2007 to 2009 in the same fashion you can see the changes in non current liabilities and current liabilities for one period to the third period so in this way you can compare the performance of the company in terms of liquidity in terms of long term solvency in terms of equity in terms of non current liabilities from period 1 to period 3 in the similar fashion we can compare the profitability from period 1 to period 2 or period 2 to period 3 you can see the changes in sales cost of sales expenses interest expense finance cost and taxation profit before tax profit after tax you can see the changes how they take place from period 1 to period 3 dear students there is a summary of each of the section from cash flow statement you can see cash flows from operating activities cash flows from investing activities cash flows from financing activities these are the net cash flows and you can compare the changes in these cash flows from period of 2007 to 2008 and 2008 to 2009 even you can check the net increase or decrease in cash and cash equivalents over this 3 years period again there is a summary of statement of changes in owners equity as you know that this is the fourth major financial statement you can check the changes in paid up capital from 2007 to 2009 here it is same this means that company had not issued any additional capital over this period you can check the premium on issue of shares from period 1 to period 3 you can see the changes in general reserves you can see the changes in unappropriated profits and other items of the equity finally you can check the changes from period 2007 to 2009 that how much change happens in the total equity section of the company